so hello and welcome friends to our channel intro mac and here we discuss about basic mechanical engineering concepts so in our previous session we have started a new series regarding the basics of fixture design so today we will see an important parameter in fixture designing which is poka yogi so please do watch the video until end and don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for getting the updates regarding the upcoming videos so without wasting time let's get started now let's see first what is pokayoki a pokayoki is nothing but mistake proofing so it it is nothing but a strategy to eliminate the human error from the processes so that the defects never get to customers meaning that your processes are most productive and profitable that means even if we try to do some mistake then it should not happen so that is the mistake proofing now how we can achieve that in fixturing now let's see a simple example now this is a simple sim card right now if the sim card is like this we will be having a confusion like whether to fit it like this or we should flip it or we should place from this side or which side so there are chances of human error that the card will get inserted in wrong orientation right now how we can avoid that how we can do pokayoke in this let's see so we have done the pokayoki over here and now what we have done we have just removed a corner piece from here you could see which is now adding the clarity that means now you are clear that this part should be fitted like this only the part like the mobile will be having a slot which will be having the same shape like this so that this part can be fitted in this direction only so you could see while applying this simple cut out we have achieved the pokayoki in this now how we can achieve this pokayoki in the fixturing that is the important part because whenever you design the fixture the part should be fitted in particular orientation only because that is the requirement of the process right so while designing it you should keep in mind that this pokayoki is achieved so let's see what we have now the customer requirement customer want to design a fixture such that the job should be properly located now this is the job you could see this is the front view this is the top view then second the job should be properly rested and seated and third the projected portion of the job should be facing upward right now first you should know that how the data is indicating the requirement of pokayoki now let's see what is the third point the projected portion of the job should be facing upwards right so this indicates the requirement of some pokayoki in the fixture right because the part can be placed like this or it can be flipped so that this projected portion will come downward now what the customer wants the projected portion of the job should always face upwards now you should ensure that there should be some poka yoki in the fixture so that this part will fit always in this orientation only now let's see how we can do that so this is our job we have designed it into the solid works right so this is the projected portion and these are the holes this is the flat face the bottom face right so let's see what how we can utilize these holes for locating right we can have some pins over there and we can have some rest over there now this is the base this is the fixture which we have designed right we have used two locating pins in cross direction and two rest so we are achieving our target first target like locating the part and then it is also getting properly seated you can see over here right now we have seated the part like this okay now what will happen if we don't we haven't given any pokayoki we have just designed this fixture now let's see if the operator will try to 
fit the part in some different direction right now let's see what will happen so this part is getting fitted in this orientation right this is the projected portion coming upward so is this satisfying our requirement let's check out that what will happen if we try to flip the part and try to fit it over the fixture so wrong position this is the wrong position the customer don't want this position right now i have flipped the part and i'm trying to fit it over the fixture right the operator has mistakenly reversed the part and he is trying to fit the part on the fixture and he is successfully placing the part on the fixture so that means we are not getting any kind of poke okay the part can be fitted in the opposite direction also that means even if the operator can mistakenly place the part in the reverse direction so what we have to do poka yoki that is mistake proofing that means even if the operator wants to load the part in reverse direction it should not get loaded in reverse direction so our fixture will be in such a manner now let's see how we can achieve this how we can achieve our uh, target right so let's see what we can do now you could see the red part i have just introduced one part over here which is a pokaki part now let's see what will happen after introducing this part whether we will achieve the pokaki or not now let's see with this part what is happening over here i am introducing the part and the part has not yet touched but the projected portion now you could see has interfered with this middle portion that means the part will not now move downward so the operator cannot move the part in downward direction because it is getting fouled at the center portion which is nothing but you can say a poka yoke pin you can say over here so now we have done this but you have to ensure that after introducing this poka yoke whether the part can be placed properly in its correct orientation so you should also keep in mind this thing that when you introduce some kind of poka yoki it should not hinder your normal operation right so we have now achieved the poka yoki now let's we will check out that whether it will not cause any problem for the normal loading right so let's see this is our correct position now and uh, with this poka yoki part because this part will always be there on the fixture right now the operator is trying to load the part and he has inserted it into the pin and now the part has rested or the part now here you could see there is a clearance between the poka yoki part uh, and our job so it is not causing any problem for the normal loading and with this we have achieved the poka yoki in our fixture so now you might have understood what is the actual meaning of poka yoki and the mistake proofing right so here we have seen that in a reverse direction it was fouling right so this this was the wrong position and right so this is how we have achieved uh, the poka yoki in our fixture and we have achieved all the requirements the part is getting located the part is getting properly seated and most important thing the part the projected portion should always come upwards and here we have achieved the thing so this is it about the poka yoki guys and i hope you understood the proper meaning of poka yoki and what is the importance of poka yoki in fixturing and how you can achieve the poka yoki so if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there until then keep intro making and we will meet in the next session thank you